Hi everybody, this is Stuart once again with another video on NLP language patterns. Today's lesson 2 is on modal operators and for more information, head down to worldofnlp.com. Here's a question for you. Does the language we use affect the way we achieve our goals in life? My opinion is it's an emphatic yes. Most of you may not have been familiar with language patterns until I mentioned this to you, but the usage of modal operators, which is a linguistic category of certain types of words that we use. For instance, the word would like to, the phrase, uh, kind of indicates to you that things are in a certain uh, time zone, a certain type of uh, preference area. I would like to be successful. It has got a certain level of compellingness to it. Uh, consider would like to with I could be successful. Between these two phrases, would like to and could, you'll notice that there is a difference in terms of its level of compellingness, in terms of its intensity. How about may be successful? You notice that is a little bit more tentative right now, and that's one of the reasons why modal operators activate a certain sense of motivation inside of us. So the model may is not as important or doesn't seem to be as compelling as would like to. Even the word shall, I shall be successful, play that in your mind a little bit. How does that affect you? If you think of something that you want to accomplish and say, I shall be successful. For some people, it's a very positive feeling. For others, there's no real feeling. And in fact, depending on cultural context, I'd be willing to bet that uh, those of you who are in who are using UK English may find that the word shall is a little bit more compelling but most of us who are utilizing American English may find that the word shall is not as compelling how about the phrase need to the sensation of you need to do something you need to get this done it seems a little bit more powerful doesn't it but it may be something that has a negative connotation in your mind, so we'll figure out how to switch that later on. How about have to? I have to be successful. Compare need to and have to, which one seems more compelling in your head? More often than not, the usage of these phrases tends to affect the way in which we perceive things in our mind, and it's all got to do with the language that we use. How about I must be successful? This seems to be the most compelling of the lot, doesn't it? And you can just take a look at the way in which we structure this inside our mind. These are modal representations and imagine you think of a situation where you need to accomplish a goal and tell yourself to play these different modal operators in your mind. Say, I should succeed. I should achieve this. I wish I could achieve this. I could achieve this. And you realize that they appear on different aspects of your mental representation, uh, mental screen in your uh, internal representations. So if you find that the phrase should is not as compelling, there must be an internal representation that corresponds with it. If you find that that's not compelling, take all the stuff that you have decided that you want to stop doing, for instance, overeating. Take the image of your overeating and place it in the location of a should. If it's something like a wish and you notice that it might be far off to your right, notice what that does. Is that a useful location? Can you take stuff and place it there? For instance, a very, very long-term goal. Maybe you could place it there. If it's something that you have to do immediately, is it more compelling for you to turn it into a must? How about a would like to? Some people get turned on by something that they would like to be able to accomplish. And if that's the case, perhaps it will be a good idea for you to place that image of you doing something right in front of you. And uh, as long as you continue to do this, the phrases inside your mind are going to affect the mental representations and pictures that you have. So this is a very quick overview of what modal operators can do and these modal representations can affect the mental images inside your head. So use them wisely. If you need to get certain things done, then I would highly recommend find modal representations that are very compelling and place your mental images in those locations and repeat the phrase that makes it something that's motivating and something that you will get done. So if you find that there's a whole stack of work that needs to be done, go inside your head and tell yourself, 
I have to do it, I must do it, or I would like to do it, depending on which one drives you to get things done more effectively. So I hope this has been beneficial for you. This has been Stuart Tan from worldofnlp.com. If you have further questions regarding language patterns and so on, please feel free to leave me a comment and ask me questions at worldofnlp.com. Catch you later. Goodbye.